dearest brother, uh, who we saw quickly in the first episode, I am sad to say I have not found any sight nor any clues into the whereabouts of our kidnapped brother and sister. This pains me greatly. Though I have been traveling the wilds, participating in tournaments, fighting hobos in alleys, and murdering poor looters for the things they have. Good times, good times indeed. I've even located a rather loyal and easy to beat up, not by me, but by looters, manservant named Sakad. So, brother, I'm sad to say I've not found our siblings, but I hope that you have. I will continue in my endeavors to try and find our lost family. Hey, everybody, it's me. Oh, signed Egon McGonagall. Uh, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to the adventures of Egon McGonagall. We need to... Uh, let's see, what do we need to do? We need to get 20 men. That's like the last thing we have quest-wise to do. So let's just recruit some dudes. You're just going to have to be traveling around. Who wants to join the show? Uh, let's see, where is the nearest big... I guess we'll just head south. Hit these little villages on the way. Oh, let's hit this one right here. Who wants to join McGonagall and company? You dweebs do? All right, we need five more. We're getting some points in leadership. Oh, wait, this is a castle? <laughs> Never mind. What an interesting town you have here. This is a castle. McGonagall's, McGonagall away. He says that anytime he's embarrassed by something. There we go. Egon's gained 25 renown. We've accomplished our goal. We've established our clan. Uh, let us go over here to Titty Town. We have another quest we haven't done that I might do at some point. The main quest in this game is awful. Uh, we have to go talk to 10 other leaders about this thing called Durette's Folly. It's a long, boring story about, I think, a banner somebody lost in the old empire. Good to see you. Believe it or not, I mean that. I've been looking for you. Who the hell are you? Uh, you escaped? Where's my brother? What? Who the fuck is this guy? Calm down now. I'll tell you everything. Should I know him? Th this isn't my brother. We found your little brother and sister, but... My former partner betrayed me. We came into his camp to negotiate the kid's release, and he seized us right then and there. I bet you liked it when he seized oh, you. scum, eh? Even in this profession, double-crossing your comrades is frowned upon. I escaped. One of his men, a little guiltier than the rest, cut my bonds when the others were sleeping. But I can't let a traitor live, so I decided to find you. And offer you a deal. I thought he was going to say he cut your balls while you were sleeping. Oh no! I know where he is now. If you agree, we can attack together and save your kin. But in return, I will have the pleasure of killing that bastard. So what do you say? My only response is how can we trust each other? <laughs> I guess because I don't know you? Egon doesn't know him? <sighs> you can't trust me. But you need me. And I figure you have enough men that you could easily slit my throat pretty quickly if I lead you into a trap. And I don't need to trust you. You're my vehicle of revenge, not my partner. Egon can live with that. Let's do it. Splendid. But I have a few things to do. There is a hideout near this city. He keeps your siblings there. I will join you right where the path leads up, just out of the sight of their scouts. All right, I'll see you then, dickweed. Ah, of course. I have no doubts on that score. I don't get the whole not trusting thing. All right, so somewhere out here... Um, rescue our family. Radigo says he knows where your siblings are. He offered to attack together. He will wait for you at the hideout. He mentioned it was near Amitata's. That's where we is right now. So there should be a hideout on the map somewhere around here? I 
I feel like an idiot because I don't see it anywhere around here. Oh, wait, there it is. It just showed up on the map. That's not very close to here. What, what bullshit was this guy saying? All right, we've got to rescue our you siblings. You finally arrived. I have a few things to say before we attack. Oh my god, I don't need your life story. Let's go rescue my siblings. We have to be clever. He is a cunning fellow in a low and base kind of way. I defeated you before. I know how your gang operates. Less talking, more raiding. Come on. How? What? When did we defeat this guy before? That you did. That you did. Lead on then. Am I missing something serious in the storyline? I don't remember this dipshit. We mostly ran around beating up nobodies. All right, let's attack. Why can't Sicard come with us? Oh, because they wanted one of the crappy... No, these these recruit guys are awful. We just grabbed any hillbilly or street urchin we could find, and we're like, you're in the army now. All right, gentlemen. Um, fire at will. Ah. Fire at will. God damn it, Sicard, you're making me look bad. Everybody, follow me! Ah, fuck it. Y'all go attack. There we go. I don't know where the music went. I'll make my own dramatic music. Bump, bump, bada, bump, 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 bada, bump. Chop this tree, chop your balls. Egon's come to chop your balls. Does that not inspire you, fellows? Rescue my siblings, who you have no idea who they are because I just hired you. Oh, there goes one of our guys. There goes another of our guys. Oh, they're not off to the most glorious start. I believe in you, fellows. Sicard, show them the way. You're doing fabulous. Come on, boyos! Oh, good job, Sicard. Manservant Sicard coming through again. He's actually getting pretty good. Beating up all their pe those peasants has uh, taught him a few things. Check out these rat moves, friends! Whoa! Ow! <laughs> oh, there goes Sicard. He got knocked down. <laughs> Tally ho, friends! One ho! Two hoes? Three hoes? If you remember in episode one, our parents were killed and our siblings were kidnapped, these are the people that did it, apparently. Woo! Ride the rapids! Hopefully we can defeat this guy here. And I don't mean this guy. There's going to be a leader of these dudes. I'm calling you out, bro. Bastards. You're the kid of my captives, right? I saw Radagos with ya. You know he can't be trusted. Why would I... What do I give a shit? Why would I care if Radagos can be trusted? He led me to where my siblings are. He led us here. Where are my siblings? Nah. There's no more talking. Kill me or I'll kill you. That's how this ends. You really suck at diplomacy, bro. You're like, don't don't trust this other guy, I'll but I'm gonna you murder you. Dueling you, and my men will stand down if you win. Duel on, bitch. No. Oh. I don't like you at all. Or you, gentlemen. Behave next time. If you hover over these, you can see what skills you've improved. Radagos improved a bunch of skills. I don't think that's going to matter. I don't think he's going to hang with us. Ooh, prisoners. Don't mind if I do. We'll take their clothes. They ain't needing them where they're going. Uh, apparently, they didn't put any voice lines for this guy. This is the guy we just beat up. Look, we can still talk. I'll give you a pouch of silver. You said talking was a waste of time. You're Radagos' property now. I knew you'd come. Great Evan. Damn, brother. Nothing can stop you. 
I love you, brother. Neosin, you were interrupting the execution I was watching. <laughs> so we've saved our other brother. Wait, so you got captured too? Because you were supposed to be looking for a sibling. So glad to see you safe. Is everyone okay, brother? Yes, we are all fine. The little ones are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. I'll take them to the nearest fortress immediately. They will be safe there. Meet me there later, when you're ready to tell me everything. All right, brother, take care. See you soon. Well, looks like we've gotten your kin back to you. So my end of our deal is complete. I'll be making myself scarce now. Don't let your conscience bother you about letting me go, by the way. I won't get back into slaving. Burn too many bridges with my old colleagues, you might say. I'll find some other way to earn my keep. Mercenary work, perhaps. Anyway, maybe our paths will cross again. Wait, he must have been part of the raiding group that originally... Wait, wait how does this make any sense? By our response. So he killed our parents and kidnapped our siblings, but then people turned on him? You killed my parents! Do you really think you would not be punished? Huh? Well, I dared to hope, I suppose. All right, then. I'm not going to grovel to you. So get it over with. I shall. For your many crimes, Radagas, your life is forfeit. Wait, he doesn't even fight me? He's just like, all right. That's, that's not the same character model, is it? Chop, chop. Well, that was a whole lot of weird all around. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, you know, I was kind of a dickhead. Go ahead and chop my head off. Whatever. Oh, wait, do we have a new fucking quest? Oh, just the investigate the folly one. Wait, wasn't our brother supposed to be here? Where the fuck is he? He's staying at Lyacron. We're right here. We'll have him join our party. These are our brother and our sister. They're much too young to join us. As they get older, they can join us on our adventures. Oh, we can get more companions, too. I really should do that. Let's go to the tavern district. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. What is your name? Stop talking, woman. Egon has no time for the words of women. I need women to help me fight. Will you join our cause? Very well, what is that in? I could use someone like you in my company. Very well. You gotta give me money. And you got pay. All right, here's some money. Yay! All right, so we've got her to join. Uh, let's ransom these prisoners we've just gotten. Uh, let's go get some more companions. Oh, I want to set all these dudes up. Okay, so our brothers joined the party. Party people in the house. We can have up to four additional companions beside the brother. This is our little brother, Farah. Farak, you can tell because he has the same haircut as our other brother. You are usually away from your estate, but when you are able to spend time with Farak, you encourage him to develop mm, his endurance, because that's what the lady's like. He's like, brother, I don't want to hear about that. Fred Farak, come and I will tell you of the ways with women and how to plow their fields. Brother, I don't want to know about that. Um, I also am going to teach him... I guess leadership? Well, spending time with Rock, you notice he shows a real ability in medicine. Awesome! Those skills may eventually be beneficial as he joins us or goes off on his own adventures. Let's go to Poor Rose and see if we can find some more people to join the cause. Uh, let's go to the tavern. Nobody here? Come on, there's gotta be somebody somewhere. I'll see you in the next town. Ooh, finally. A lady, a spice of vendor. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Of course you don't know me, wench. I need a war wench. Would you care to join me, Egon McGonagall? There's some town people who looked after me. Made sure I was fed with like food in my mouth hole. I'd like to give them something before I go. Can I get some money? Here. Yeah. I'm going to join you. All right, so we have room for one more person. Uh, to Rote we go. I think the other thing I'm going to do is we're going to fire these guys. 
I don't want to. I, later on, we'll hire other people. I don't want to pay their fees right now. Blood Axe, you look like a dork. <laughs> like, where, where is he? Can I join your group? No, too nerdy. Like, you gotta either be like a cool nerd, like Doc Brown or Egon, or you gotta be a sexy nerd, but not a nerd nerd. Oh, no, wait, I'm a nerd nerd. <laughs> I wouldn't even recruit myself. Come on, let's get up in here. Ah! Wait, actually, let's go to our ancestral homeland. Uh-oh. So the green... Oh, God. The green are kind of like our ancestral home people, the Batarians. They're about to get wiped out, it looks like. They only have two cities left. This is traditionally a Batarian city, though. We'll go there. I didn't realize our people... We're not technically, like, um, a part of the kingdom. What I mean is, like, we don't have a lord. We're kind of free agents. Mm, no, I want somebody cooler. Sorry, Christopher the Swordsman. Ooh, this guy. He's lucky. We could use somebody. What is your name? My name is Egon. You look like a big old dork. We need one of those. Uh, very well. What is it? Come join me. Um, if you pay me. Of course I will, bastard. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go look at our new crew. We've got Manservant Sicard, Druz Balda the Huntress, our brother Niacin, uh, Kani Zats the Spice Vendor. Man, that's a mouthful. And Yathan the Lucky. Let's buy some crap for them. We're going to kind of try and spec them, sort of like Sakaar. Ideally a sword, a bow, and then a bunch of arrows. I don't know how much we can afford. Okay, Niacin, we'll actually leave you with your gear. Because your gear should be decent. Oh, you can actually use decent bows. We're not going to get you a great one. Because we don't have a massive amount of money. You don't even have a weapon? Oh, you join up with me, girl. All right, we'll give you a bow and some arrows. Uh, we'll give you some more arrows. Let's get you a sword. I'm not buying you much more than that. Uh, what's the cheap? I should just give you a dagger. What an asshole. <laughs> Here's a little knife. You can fight an orange with it. You're a huntress. Make two. Uh, spice vendor. Let's get you a bow. These guys all seem to have some bow skills. And that's all we're buying them. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not all we're buying them. We're also going to buy them... What are the cheapest horses and rigging I can get them? All right, Yathan, you get the cheapest horse. I'll get you your bow in a moment, dude. Huntress, you get yours. Because I want to be able to move quickly. And if everybody is mounted... Then we'll move a lot faster. Alright, Niacin? Or Yathan? He's like, that's not my name! Let's get you a mountain bow. Let's get you some arrows. Later on, we'll upgrade all this crap. Man, it costs three grand. But now, we've got our whole crew. Let's see. Yathan the Lucky is good at one-handed. That's cool. We want to get him bow skills. Okay, none of these guys are good at bow skills. You can see bow skills right there. Um, except for our brother. Our brother's got a ton of stats to put out. Let me just deploy them a moment. Alright, so we've kind of specced our brother so that he can hopefully get better at riding, athletics, bow, and one-handed. That's our focus, endurance, control, and vigor. And put a little bit, not a lot, into the social skills. He is better than us. I think he's higher level. He's level 19, whereas our main character, Egon, is only level 14. Um, speaking of which, is there a tournament in town if we wait here for a moment? While you're resting, you hear news that a force led by Belgrade Party has arrived outside the walls of Dungalanes and is beginning preparations for a siege. The Batarians are about to get... They're in the middle of a war. I don't know if we can see this here. No, I think we need this unlocked. These guys are getting the shit kicked out of them. I don't think there's anything we can do to help. I would love to, 
But the truth is, we we ought to probably be out getting our guys leveled up, fighting more. That can't be easy, though. We're watching the homeland of our people be destroyed by the neighbors. Econ's answer to that is, let's just go have a tournament. All right, those two dipshits are fighting. Oh, no, he's coming right at me. Oh, no, that guy's coming right at me, too. No, 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 no. Leave Econ alone. <laughs> he didn't do nothing against you losers. No? Yes. Now I will for sure advance. Ow. Aha! I win! Everything's coming up Egon. This is better, um, Sword and Shield. He's way better with Sword and Shield than- Ah! Guys, little help! There you go, hit him in the back. That's not good. I think everyone else in our group got destroyed. Fucking morons! Oh, leave me! Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I didn't want to win anyway. Uh, no, I don't think those are guys. I know Yathan was our guy. I don't think either of these guys are. <laughs> that's all right. I don't. I don't want to win anyway. Let's go fight some peasants. That'll make us feel better. I love the way our, our guy looks. Now that we've finally freed our family, we have our brother and our manservant and our brother and sister who are too young to join us. It's time for the McGonagalls to make a name for themselves. I think the two brothers, they want power and wealth. They want to have the good life so never again anyone can kidnap them. Brother? No, it's my manservant. Wait, wait. Are you the only one coming to town with me? We came here looking for work, but as there was none in the village. But the masters wanted the skilled hands only. With a few coins I could go home. Heavens repay kindness with kindness, my lord. Can I actually give him money? Oh, I hate this game. Why would you put a beggar in the game that you can interact with and not let me give them some money? For some karma or whatever. Like, why would you put that in the game? This game is fully released. Look, kid, I'd give you money, but the devs didn't want you to have any. They hate you. Hey, what are you doing here? Why don't you give the peasants money? They need it. Oh, I don't do that. Shut up. I hate you. Ha ha ha. Sicard! Oh! This is Sicard! You're on your own, friend! I believe in you! Oh. Wait, what are you... <laughs> Wait! Oh. This guy's like, what are you doing here? Nobody tells me what to do! Oh, God damn it! he put his sword away! I'm fine! Why did... Why did the camera switch to that random guy in the marketplace? I don't know what any of that was about. You can see all these tiny little armies coming into town. Wait, one of them. Okay, our main story is to learn about Narent's folly. And you will see sometimes... Oh, where did they go? Armies with a little... There we go. With a yellow explanation mark on it? That means there's somebody there who knows about it. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? You're really good at talking to people. I am Egon McGonagall. Who are you, dipshit? I'm a guy who they didn't bother to voice the lines for. I'm in Galther of De Curtone, one of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Valandian Kingdom. I am Lord of Charos and Sionon. What the hell's Noret's folly? Well, that's a long story that starts a long time ago with the Battle of Hendrick in the year 1077. See, Emperor Jits McGee Noretz led an army of. Oh, I'm not listening. And then it was a disaster and he died. Oh, yeah, I see. Great story. Is there anything else? That's it. Bye-bye. 
Wait, did I not ask him the right thing about it? Oh, tell me about the battle. Oh, I got more story to tell you. I was a young squire then. Oh, I've heard no sweeter music than the thunder of hooves. Oh, I loved them horses. As you bore down on the Ezrai rabble and fell on them like a falcon plunges a rabbit. These guys in the back are like, oh, he always tells the story. We go out to get chicken and he launches into the story. They'd overextended themselves. Uh, who, the army or the falcons? I, I already quit listening. Chasing the imperial archers. Lightfoot before our knights. There was no contest. Let me tell you something. Nine tenths of victory is recognizing when your enemies made a mistake. The rest the rash perish as swiftly as a week and deserve it just as much. We uh, should have gone on to seize all the Western Empire. If Durther had any manhood, we'd done so, but his heart was never in war. He believed he'd broken his oath to the Empire by helping the Sturgeons and it gnawed at him. He'd made a fine lackey. Instead, he's our king. So you're saying your king's a dipshit? Your king's succeeding in killing our people, though, the Batarians. Thanks, dipshit. Would you like to hear more stories? No, I gotta go. So we've learned one of ten stories. I don't know if we're gonna learn all of them or not. Oh wait, there's someone else here with a story. Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. This guy is an Imperial, you can tell by because of the purple there. For, uh, he's gonna probably look at us as just some hillbilly from the north. Oh, I'm Egon, who the hell is you? I'm Penton of the House Nerets. I also am not voice acted beyond the opening statement. I'm from one of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Empire. I am Lord of Sediopia. If you ever want a chance for glory, you might want to consider fighting for me. One day you can tell your grandchildren you served under your, my command. The McGonagalls serve under no one, sir. Can you tell me about that battle? Oh, of course I can. You know my name, whose son I am. I have no idea who the fuck you are, bro. We had no choice but to go to war, and anyone who tells you they would have done otherwise is either a liar, or a coward, or both, as I call them, Loward, or Klikayar. The Sturgeons attacked us, but needed to be chastised. I wanted to spank them. We lost an army and a banner, but we did not lose our honor. And without honor, the Empire would be finished. You tell that to the family of the dead? Well, your family died, your dad ain't coming back, but we got honor. We lost because the Vlandians broke their oaths and fought us when they should have fought with us. I think the guy we just talked to before with the long story was Vlandian. I was given command of the cataphracts, and we usually crushed their crossbowmen. Their knights gave us more trouble. Meanwhile, the Sturgeon infantry came down and attacked our main force. That's where my father fell. Did he get back up? No, he died. Oh, awkward. The barbarians just kept coming and coming. Yeah, that's us. We're the barbarians. That's why the ladies like us, because we keep coming and coming. I fought my way out and with some loyal men from that cum storm and made my way back to the capital. But I found that Enriniacos had got there before me and had himself declared emperor. He was always a cunning operator. Thanks for your story. Is there anything else? No, and I don't want to work for you. A pleasure to have met you. Oh, quit coming out of me. He likes barbarians. So now we've gotten two of the ten. If you see, we have a massive timer there. You kind of want to let that timer run for a while, because if you do the quest too fast, you get fucked. Who are these dipshits in white? Where are you from, bro? I... I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. You got a cool hat, dude. I'm Egon! I am Lyd, and I've been chosen of the Maronoff to lead them in the struggle against tyranny. Yeah, fuck the ty tyrants unless it's us. I've heard of you. At last we met, or at last we meet. You sound like a good man to know. Let us speak together from time to time. All right. I'm bored of you already. Wait, let's see if we can discuss something. You piqued my interest? I can give him stuff. Um, have some baggy trunks. <laughs> Very well, I accept. You enjoy those now. You enjoy that gift from Egon. Ooh, looters. Alright, this is the perfect yeah. opportunity for us to attempt our new army. Only companions so far. They've all got bows. Only one of them is going to be decent with bows besides us. 
Um, this is a bad place for y'all. Follow me! I want you right there. Oh, too many buttons. Alright, gentlemen and ladies. Prepare to shoot the peasants that are going to try to loot us. Who do we got here? We've got the spice vendor. We've got our brother, Niacin. We've got Sicard the manservant. We've got Druze the Huntress, and Yathan the Lucky. Hardly anybody's got any armor. Any moment. Any moment. There they are. Attack, boyos! Fire! With impunity! Ooh, good job, Man 7. Good job killing that poor. Oh, another one! Oh, Druze, you got your first poor! Most excellent. Whoa! Somebody's throwing them at us. We can't have that. Ah, uh, the Huntress got knocked down. <laughs> Embarrassing. Can y'all... I gotta say, this has been... Oh, quit throwing rocks at me, you fuckface. Um, this is not exactly the most glorious battle. Yes, we win? Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a talk with these guys afterwards. Whoa, Drus got a lot of skill points up. What about Sicard? A little bit? Yathan got a lot? Yeah, we're gonna need to do a bunch of that. I'll probably do some of that off screen, just grinding, getting these guys better trained. Oh, and somebody gets a bonus. Yathan gets one in one handed. Uh, we'll give him trainer, we'll give him some extra hit points, not a lot, but whatever. And I thought, ooh, there's somebody else we can talk to over here. Oh, that's an army. That's the third army. That's the king that that one dude said was an idiot. I wish we could rat him out. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. I'm Egon. Who are you? Wait, he just told us who he is. I'm a death art, king of the Vlandians, lord of Sargot, and Galand. I've heard of you. At last we meet. You sound like a good man to know. Let's speak together from time to time. I assume he's heard of us because we have a high reputation. What can you tell me about the Battle of T Pendriac? It was a victory of the kind that is almost as bad as a defeat. You mean a Pyrrhic victory? We had given an oath to the Empire to join them if attacked. It seemed clear to me that we should have honored our oath. That the Batanians and the Sturgeons were aggressors, but there is always room to argue details. Ultimately, our barons did not wish to fight with the Empire, so they resisted coming to its help. So you guys were a bunch of losers that said you would help and didn't. Naretz, when he heard we were hesitating, sent us a message calling us cowards and traitors. And you say that to have landed you know at your peril. Naretz should have known what he was doing. We joined the Sturgeons. So no, not only... Did you break your oath? You went and helped the other side. I did not fight in the battle. I stood on a hill telling my commanders where to go and who to attack. Fighting is scary. And we did rather well. I think you've heard. Still, we took losses, heavy losses, and gained little. For this, the barons blamed me. Even though it was their idea to fight. I learned that day that a king should always lead, never follow. But it was a bitter lesson. Thank you. Anything else? I like how everybody in this game is old men who want to tell tales because they're lonely. <laughs> this guy in the back is like, he never listens to my tales. Alright, I'm, I'm off, numbnuts. Well, I reckon that's going to be the end of this adventure for today. Um, we've talked to three of the nobles. That's something we'll do as time goes on. We've got our little crew. Um, oh, we got these looters I got to get rid of. We can do that a quick second. This episode might be a little long. This here, too, is the Batarian town. That has been conquered by, I believe, the Vlandians. Uh, you all can be ransomed. And then we'll sell some stuff. Oh, I ought to give some of these to our group, our group that doesn't have nothing. Um, here's some armbands for you. Here's some armbands for you. Here's some armbands for you. And a better... Sh and a better shirt. How about that, bro? Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for hanging out.